He's in shot by the fire. Okay. Action. And I think for me as a young person, you know, um, playing a young person in 76, you really get a sense of, of the challenges that they were facing. You know, it's, it's, it's incredible to think that some of the kids that were on the streets, they were 15, 16 years old. And yet the determination and what they wanted to do was, was to go up against an institution that was there when they were born, you know. And that kind of bravery and something as an actor is just a privilege to play, you know. the box going away. But now that I'm retiring, it's a privilege, especially shooting in Soweto and Tembisa has been a very rich experience. The people are wonderful, they open their homes up to us. Um, they're delighted to have us here, all of them, you know. And to work with a local cast is fantastic. The raw talent is unbelievable. I think more people need to come film here and look at the talent that we have. Not just on the acting side, but as far as the crew. The crew has been phenomenal as well. Logistics have been um, monumental, and that's been our greatest challenge. And I think we've been we've done very well in considering um, how much we've had to do. And you know, not not only that, but we're dealing with recreating the, the 70s and the 80s. We're dealing with action scenes. We're dealing with a big cast. So those are the kinds of problems that you always have to find solutions to in terms of your schedule and things like that. Sixty-eight, five, eighteen, take two. Um, and basically the journey it takes uh, you know, to find each other, they lose each other through the political scene and the journey brings them back together at the end of the movie. So it's, it's, it's a life journey of these two guys, they're the best mates and, and they find each other and actually help, help each other out in the end. <laughs> 